Hello, my name is Emily, and thank you for joining me this evening for some gentle yoga. Tonight we're going to be a little different. So instead of being in a chair, we'll be on the floor for the Joint Freeing Series by Mukunda Styles. So this particular series is, is meant to increase mobility and hopefully decrease pain by moving our joints, bringing some more synovial fluid into our joints and just helping to lubricate our joints so there's uh, easier range of motion and mobility. But before we get started, I do want to preface this with do what feels best for your body. So if it feels best to be in a chair, go ahead and sit in a chair with your legs at a 90 degree angle, um, bringing your seat forward if necessary. And also, if some of the movements that I suggest seem like they're not best for your body, please feel free to modify it or completely skip this pose because everything we do should be beneficial to our, our own practice and our own bodies. So if you feel like putting on some music, I'll invite you to put on some music or grab a chair if you'd like to get a chair. Please make sure it's one without arms so that you can swing your arms freely. All right, so without further ado, we'll get into our joint freeing series. I'll hold most poses, they're about 21, for about three breaths each. If you hear me, just inhaling, I'll be inhaling through my nose, exhaling through my mouth, and that will also be a reminder to you for your breathing, but also to help us count. So the first pose we're getting into is Tandasana. It's our stick pose, so we'll start with our ankles. Feel free to support your body by gently pointing your fingers out. So we'll start with bringing our toes up, pointing to the sky, and we'll inhale here, and then exhale. Inhale, point. Next, we'll be clapping our toes or our feet, basically. So toes are together, feet, feet are relaxed, and we'll inhale, feet together, and on the exhale, we'll bring the soles of our feet together. So inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, and exhale. Now supporting your body if you'd like. Let's do some circles, inhaling, bringing toes out. And we'll change opposite direction, inhaling, circling in. We'll bring our body straight, finding some length with our spine, and we'll inhale, lifting the legs slightly, exhale, bending the knee in. So if it doesn't feel good to bring your leg off the floor, perhaps bringing it off slightly or keeping the heel on the floor and just bringing your knee up to whatever feels good for you. So let's do three on each side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, foot coming down, opposite foot now, inhale, exhale, good, feet coming down, for this one, Swinging one leg out to the side and then swinging it in. So using our toes to guide us, really getting up into our hip joint. Feel free to support your body with your hands pointing, with your fingers pointing back. Let's inhale, swooping out, toe pointing out. Exhale, in. Inhale, opposite side, toes pointing in, exhale, inhale, exhale, 
Inhale. Exhale. Now coming up onto your hands and knees into our tabletop position. We'll move into our cat and cow pose for our spine flexion and extension. Let's do hands shoulder width apart, knees shoulder width apart. If you see that you're falling, pretend that you're pushing into the ground. So really strong through the arms here. We'll inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the head. Exhale, opposite direction. Head falls, back comes up. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now from here, we'll extend one leg out. Feel free to modify this as you'd like. So perhaps just bringing the toe out or perhaps coming up for about a parallel, for keeping parallel to the floor. So we're gonna inhale, extend, keeping our shoulders square and solid. Exhale, curl. Inhale. Coming down, feel free to shake it out if it's feeling a little rough on the wrists there. Coming back into our cat, excuse me, into our tabletop position, shoulder width apart, opposite leg. We inhale, coming out, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one. here, we're going to bring, we'll be in a tabletop position, but bringing our hands out a little further, bringing the knees together. We'll inhale here, and then dropping the waist. Let's see if this position or this angle is a little easier to see. So hands under my shoulder, my knees are together. I'll inhale, squeezing my thighs, and then exhale, flailing out to the side but in control, so I'm not completely loosey-goosey, right? So in a controlled, smooth motion. So inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale. And we'll finish here. So if this feels good, I'll feel free to come back onto your legs, sitting like this. <laughs> Consequently, this position is also good for our digestion. If not, feel free to just sit uh, in whatever position feels good. So getting into our wrists, we'll inhale and exhale. Inhale. Last one. Hands coming up. And so similar to what we did with our feet, that we'll flail, we'll bring our hands out, and then exhaling together. So inhale, exhale, inhale. Inhale, and on the exhale, bring your, uh, bring your fingertips to your shoulders. Inhaling, exhaling. So let's leave our fingertips on your shoulders, and we'll inhale, opening, and exhale, close. Let's inhale, arms coming out. Try to keep a 90 degree angle. So we'll inhale here and then exhale, rotating down. Trying to keep that 90 degree angle and trying to relax those shoulders down. Ooh, I see I'm having a difficult time with this shoulder. Let's inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up. And down. From here, 
Inhale, swing the hands up, and then we'll exhale, bringing our hands back. Exhale. Inhale. Let's relax. If you're, if you're still on your knees, let's come into a seated position. And then we're going to move into a cat cow pose, but just on the floor. So we'll inhale, opening the shoulders, bringing the neck up. And then exhale, we'll close, making a C with our body. So let's start inhaling. coming to center position. From here, let's do a little flow, but we'll do some extension. So placing one hand on the ground, we'll inhale, and then exhale. Inhale. Moving into a spinal twist, let's inhale, bringing some length through our spine, and then very gently, starting with our belly button, we'll turn, bringing the opposite hand to the opposite knee. Let's take our three breaths here, inhaling. Inhale, exhale, release. Let's inhale, finding some length. And then exhale, leaning with the belly button. Let's take our three breaths here. Inhaling, finding length, exhaling. Relaxing into the pose. Inhale to find length. And then exhale. Let's release. Now moving into the neck. We'll inhale, bring the head back. Exhale, bring the head forward. Inhale. So inhale, coming to center, and on the exhale, dropping an ear to the shoulder. Inhaling center, exhaling, dropping to the opposite side, trying to focus on those shoulders and find a little relaxation if possible. Inhale, coming center. Exhale, bring your chin to your chest. And then we'll inhale, coming to one side. And exhale, coming center. Inhaling, opposite side. And exhale, coming center. Moving with your breath. Last one. Let's inhale, bring our head up. And exhale here. So that was the joint freeing series by Mukunda Styles. And again, it's to help 
bring a little more mobility to your joints in your body and hopefully easing some pain in your body too. If it's something you can incorporate into your daily routine, that would be absolutely fantastic. All right, let's inhale together here. Hands together at the top. Bring your palms to your heart. May you move with ease, peace, and joy. Namaste.